Welcome everyone to another episode of the Around Akiba Hobby Channel. And today we are at one of the most popular figurine exhibitions in Akihabara by Good Smell Company, the wonderful hobby life for you, G Gallery, Spring 2023. And we are greeted by this big display of Hatsune Miku's 16th birthday with the 16th birthday special figurine. Around the corner we are immediately greeted with some very very beautiful Hatsune Miku figurines, different versions, different sizes. Here we have Orange Rouge. Orange Rouge is Good Smiles brand for ladies. Featuring beautiful boys from your favorite anime shows, so-called Bishonen. We have a lot of them here. Also, one of the new product types of Good Smile Company are the Nendroid dolls. The special thing about Nendroid dolls is that the clothing that the dolls are wearing is actually made from real cloth. The One Hobby G is a gallery organized by Good Smile Company multiple times a year. They invite all of their partnered companies and brands to exhibit their latest figurines, which they are selling together with Good Smile internationally. Let's show you a couple of our favorites. One of Japan's biggest animation studios, Kadokawa, is also almost always represented at these events. And you can see some of their yeah, latest releases. Mostly Fate is also one of them. As we can see, we have a beautiful Fate figurine today as well. And other, you know, popular female characters. We have Kleinel who are exhibiting very, very cute figurines today. We have some very cute pastel colored girly figurines. I'm not sure about the anime, but okay. But they're very, very cute. And you have, of course, your favorite girls from Evangelion. They are all wearing white and tight bodysuits. It's from the final movie version. Another famous animation studio, Aniplex, featuring some of their latest figurine releases. You have a, a nice, sexy maid figurine from uh, Kaguya-sama. And then uh, Riko Rikoiru, you know, Riko Rikoiru and some figurines from Nier. And of course, one of Aron Akiba's favorite brands, Fat, the pretty hot and tempting figurines. Today we have three beautiful figurines and one announcement from Azure Lane. Well guys, I cannot tell you what exactly this is, but some might call it art. And we have Pop Mart, it's also one of Goodsmart's popular brands. And these are like collectible figurines, usually like little humans or creatures. This time we have collaborations with DC, for example. We have Batman and uh, Superwoman. We have a Tom and Jerry, for example, as well. Well, guys, this year is a special year. Because in 2008, the first Figmas were released into the world. And it's the 15th anniversary, because it's 2023. And we have some 15th anniversary special Figma to present to you. There's something coming out from Elden Ring, which is very cool. Our team is very obsessed with Vinland Saga, and we have the main character, Torfin. Torfin is also wearing real cloth, which is very, very cool. I know you guys are most excited about this, the Hololife collection. For example, there's a Figma of Gaurgura, the shark girl, and, you know, many, many other ones. You guys probably know more about uh, Hololife than I do. But uh, there's a couple of very cool ones here. We also have a couple of new pop-up parade releases for Hololife. We have Xion, Kanata, Laplace Darkness, and many more. And of course, Swire! Yeah! We have some cute ReZero figurines where the actual version is holding their own child version in the hand. Our cameraman's Rescue the Prince's favorite anime series, Chainsaw Man. Super, super detailed. You know, the base and all the character details are so precise. The shadowing, the color grading on these are just, it's just out of this world. We have this epic Fire Emblem figurine covering the base. is very detailed and she's holding that, you know, crystal in her hand. It's very, very, very impressive. Of course, lots of Fate Grand Order figurines here at the exhibition. My favorite is the penguin version of Lanza. Very epic. We have two penguins and her in a penguin dress. Pretty cute. Berserk, also one very, very epic anime series. And we have this, you know, bust of guts. It's pretty impressive. The most popular and most famous series of Good Smile is, of course, the Nandroid. And this time we have a huge wall filled with Nandroids. Some 
a very very popular old and new anime series. We have of course Spy Family, Anya, which also comes with some Nandroid additional faces for Anya. We have characters from Helsing, which is very cool, Alucard, we have Guts from Berserk, we even have a little Bruce Lee and you know Golden Cowboy character. <laughs> We have uh, even, you know, Master Chief from Halo, we have a Diablo 4 character, Cyberpunk, Undertale, we even have a Snoopy, Minions, come on, there's anything you can find as a name. Good Star's pop-up parade series has got more and more and more popular throughout the last couple of months and years, and you know, it's really great that besides the Nandroid and Figma, we have like beautiful scale figurines for an affordable price in all kinds of shapes and forms. We even have the L, L size and XL size version for some figurines, it's very, very cool. And also here, there's so much diversity. We have characters from anime, games, and you know, all sorts of different IPs. It's very, very cool. Another of our own Akiba's favorite figurine brands is of course Freeing, which always features beautiful bunny girls. And, you know, this time we have some very special ones like Ramchan lying there. You might remember Toradora. It's, uh, you know, it has been a time ago, but it's a beautiful romance anime. We have two of the main characters and other very juicy characters here, you know. They are all, uh, they all have different bunny outfits in different colors, glossy, and they always wear like neck tights. And Tristan's favorite figurine this time is this beautiful figurine here. <laughs> I mean, maybe you can tell, but it's, you know, a little parody of Hokusai's famous, you know, ukiyo-e uh, woodblock print, where we have the girl and the octopus, you know, playing around with her. It's pretty cute. A couple of cool figurines from Tokyo Revengers. And these ones are especially epic, you know, they are from a manga cover, uh, art, and they wear these nice, like, kimono pattern suits and this coat. It just looks really, really epic. Another trending anime these days is Watch That Up and you know the first figurines are going to be released soon. We already have the Nandroid of the main character, Shuri, but there's a couple of other you know figurines coming out for all your music anime fans. I think this one is going to be one of the pricier figurines. We have Nezuko-chan in a wooden box and this is actually made from real wood. So it's like a box and inside we have a scene from the movie where she's you know kicking through that demon and you know there's some special effects, life going on there, there's just so much going on in that box. Hell's Paradise is actually an anime that Good Smart Company was co-producing and we can see some of the main characters featured as nandroids and also as pop-up parade figurines. Good Smart Company is definitely very fast when it comes to you know producing figurines of the most trending anime because you know Oshinoko is a very very recent and new anime which is very popular these days and they're already you know producing all kinds of figurines. For all of you who like your figurines more compact and simple of course is the Good Smile Hello series and I have a lot of them here. Lots and lots of collectible, beautiful figurines from your favorite anime series. Every event also has a wall of upcoming Nandroids. This is very, very, very important for most Good Spy Company events. You always have a wall of expectations, figurines that you can expect in the near future. All right, guys, that was it from the One Hobby G Gallery 2023 Spring. Organized by Good Spy Company, there are lots and lots and lots of awesome figurines as always which one did you like the most let us know in the comments if you're passionate about japanese hobby culture like you know all the otaku goodies figurines gunpla you know all kinds of collectibles trading cards and whatever japan has to offer make sure to stay subscribed to the around akiba hobby channel our second channel where we're going to upload more frequently regarding, you know, content related to Japanese hobby culture. Smash the like button and see you next time around Akiba. Hobby.